What's happening guys, it's Shane here. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the best and the worst associate level degrees. We are going to be ranking them from S tier, which is the highest, to F tier, which is the worst. Now I'm basically gonna be doing a speed run with this video. I'm kinda gonna test this concept out. I'm not gonna explain my choices pretty much at all. You can check out my other videos if you want more in-depth explanations. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me know if you like this by gently tapping that like button, hitting the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell, and let's get right into it. So art degrees at the associate level, first one on the list, um, Full Sail University, that's one example of this. You go for like one or two years. Here's an example of a degree you'd get and how much you'd get paid. You can pause the video if you wanna see these. This one, overall, not so great, gonna go into D tier. Business degrees at the associate level, here's an example of a degree and how much you would expect to get paid. Overall, I'm gonna give it A tier status. Communications degrees at the associate level is next. Here's an example of a communication degree. Here's how much you would get paid if you went into a career that's related to that, like recruiter. This one is decent, a little bit better than some of the worst ones. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be an education degree at the associate level. Here's the degree, here's how much you would expect to get paid. Now the 51,000 is all teachers. At the associate level, you would only be eligible for certain teaching positions like preschool, for instance, so you'd likely get paid a lot less than that. Uh, but overall, this one is gonna go into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be engineering degrees at the associate level. Um, here's an example of one. Here's how much you would expect to get paid. Usually these would be like technician type jobs. Still very, very good for just a two year degree. Um, this one is going into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be health degrees at the associate level. A lot of fantastic options here. Uh, here's one I'm gonna have pop up on the screen and here's how much you would expect to get paid. Health degrees are good at just about every single level, um, especially associate level, you know, two or three years and you can get paid like 70, $80,000 a year. There's not that many other types of degrees where that's possible. This one definitely goes into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be language related degrees. Uh, here's an example of one, Spanish language. Uh, here's how much a translator generally gets paid. Um, language related degrees at the associate level can be okay. Um, sometimes it does help a little bit to have that, you know, education, that formal training uh, before you become a translator. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into C tier. Next one on the list is most liberal arts degrees at the associate level. Um, here's you know, an example of one. Here's how much you'd expect to get paid. Paralegal is definitely one of the better examples. A lot of them, you're not gonna be able to find a job. And even if you do find a job, it's pretty low paying. Um, so for that one, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into F tier. Math degrees at the associate level are next on the list. Here's a mathematics degree. Here's how much you would expect to get paid. Not that many jobs out there for mathematics majors at the associate level. Um, you know, getting a bachelor's, uh, sometimes even a master's is what you would want to go for, depending on what career you're going for. Uh, this one is going to go into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be science degrees at the associate level. Uh, here's an example of an, a science degree, chemistry, and here's how much you would expect to get paid. In this case, it would be becoming a laboratory technician. Um, you know, another one of those science degrees, you kind of have to get higher education in order to get a decent job. A lot of the time, bachelor degree isn't enough. So associates is gonna be definitely not enough. Um, you know, this one is gonna go into C tier. Next one on the list is a psychology degree at the associates level. Um, <laughs> you know, they're not gonna let you help people with their mental health, which is extremely complicated as with an associate level education. Um, so this one is gonna go into F tier. Next one on the list is most social science degrees at the associate level, kind of along the same lines as a psychology degree. Um, you know, sociology is one example I'll pop up on the screen. Um, again, also gonna go into F tier. 
Next one on the list is going to be a technology related degree at the associates level. Uh, technology related degrees pretty much good at every single level. Here's an example of a degree you could graduate with. Uh, computer science, and then maybe you would become a web developer, and here's how much they would expect to get paid. Um, pretty good even at the associate's level. There's a lot of other like certifications that might take six months to maybe two years as well that aren't technically degrees, but they take around the same amount of time that you can look into when it comes to technology. Um, so this one definitely goes into S tier. So yeah, decided to do a little speed run there. Hope you enjoyed it. I think I kept this one under five minutes, I believe. So uh, let me know if you enjoy this type of video. Just gave you all the information. Didn't really explain it too much. Um, and uh, if you haven't done it already, go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Have a good one.